Welcome to Data Doctor's video, Suggestion 801, Big Profile. Caution! This video is for advanced users familiar with sourcing, biography content, and creating named inline citations. This index lists beginning times of each segment, so you can fast forward to any of particular interest. Suggestion 801 is caused when a profile has over 100,000 characters. These are very long biographies and could be simplified. Specific problems are multiple copies of the same text, error when importing a JETCOM file, or the whole family tree is added to one profile. Here is the suggestion report for James Madison Armstrong. It lists three suggestions. 571 Find a Grave is used as a reference, but no memorial link was given. 801 Big Profile The info column lists 125,654, the number of characters in this profile. And suggestion 835, local reference file, the info column of which is too long to show in its entirety. Suggestion 835 means this profile links census record photos to a personal computer. Wikitree does not support such links, and no one but the profile manager can see the photos. These links either need to be removed, linked to an online source, or images with no copyright issues added to the profile. Here is the public view of James Armstrong's profile. It was created by a JETCOM import and has 89 references, several of which repeat large quantities of text. These 89 references are based on only 8 sources, which means named inline citations need to be created. Both the photos and find a grave issues will be resolved when named inline citations are made. Click on Edit. In the Edit text box, copy its contents and, because of punctuation issues, paste to a text file such as Notepad rather than a Word file. This will allow you to organize the text easier and keeps the original data intact. I have 35 pages of text. Let's start with the two Notes subheadings, one in the Biography section and one in Sources. The one in Biography should be the last subheading, so move it to below the Marriage subheading. Now, to lessen confusion, move the one from the Sources section to the one in Biography. This leaves us with only one Notes subheading. Move the interview from Notes to just below the Biography heading and create its own subheading. Return to Notes and delete the duplicated obituary, as it is elsewhere in the profile. The medical note is already given in his obituary, so delete it here. The remaining note is also similar to the obituary, with only a few sentences of new information, which are highlighted. Save that, but delete the repeated text. The notes subheading should now look like this. Turn your attention to the sources section and the eight references listed. Highlight them for easier organization. Where possible, use free site sources instead of paid site sources, such as seen here. I have found five census records and a find a grave record on free sites. Please note that the Find a Grave source needs the Wikitree template added. The Find a Grave source resolves the issue with Suggestion 571 noted earlier. The other two references are an interview record and one reference for two newspaper obituaries, one for James and one for his wife. I also found two marriage records, which I will add to the profile. Now that the sources are organized, let's work with the biography section. Just under the biography heading, delete all text surrounding the references tags, including the tags. Move the remaining JEDCOM import text to a new acknowledgements heading. This goes below the sources heading. 
there are 11 subheadings, two of which can be deleted right away. The user ID from another site and the date changed are irrelevant. Of the nine remaining subheadings, determine which source supports each fact and check for any discrepancies between the sources and the biography. There is one block of text that needs moved to notes and two that need moved in the biography to their own subheading, which we will create. First, there is a discrepancy in the marriage subheading. A case file is listed in relationship to mother, but not in the sources section. It would be better given as a note since it pertains to James's mother, Celinda, and her children. Move it to the notes subheading. Second, move his newspaper obituary from the death subheading to below the interview and create its own subheading. Third, move his wife's newspaper obituary from the marriage subheading to below his obituary and create its own subheading. Of the remaining, name, birth, death, burial, census, residence, and marriage, delete all sources beside them. In the marriage subheading, delete relationship to father and relationship to mother for all children. This is unnecessary repeated information throughout the profile, and each child already has their own profile. Also delete date changed under each marriage. The cleaned biography section should now look like this, with subheadings and facts, but no sources yet. It should be noted here that since the local reference file photos were all of U.S. Census records and images of the same are found with links to family search, suggestion 835 has now been addressed. Go to the Sources section and begin moving the sources to their appropriate place in the Biography section. Delete the span tags. Move the interview source to its subheading in the Biography section. Move his newspaper obituary source to the obituary in the Biography section. Be sure to add the date, page, and column information. Create a named inline citation. In this case, obit 1, since there are two obituaries. Paste the named inline citation beside the name. Don't forget to add a forward slash to the end of that reference tag. Copy that to facts, death, and residence. Move his wife's newspaper obituary source to her obituary in the biography section. It will be the same as his except for the date, column, and page. There is no need to name the citation since it is used only once. Move his find grave source to death. Create a named inline citation, FAG, for find a grave. Copy and paste it beside the facts, birth, and burial. Be sure to add a forward slash at the end of the references tag in birth and burial. Move all census records and marriage records to their places in the biography section. Once all sources have been moved, the sources section should be empty except for the references tag. The biography section should have each fact sourced at least once, with proper use of named inline citations. The notes subheading should be the last one in the biography section. The sources heading is next, with the acknowledgments heading at the end. Copy your work and paste it over the edit page in James's profile. Click on Preview and take your time to study the profile. Are there any sources not numbered? Are there references in the biography not listed with the sources? If you're sure everything looks right, go to the middle of the profile page and explain your changes. This is strongly recommended for all Wikitree users and is required for data doctors. For me, I identify myself as a data doctor, copy the suggestion number and name, and explain what I changed. Save your work. As an interesting note, the profile has been reduced to 17,113 bytes, 
that is almost 10 times less text and much more interesting to read. Return to the suggestions report and on the far right, click on status. On the next page, the suggestion status report. Make sure your Wikitree ID is showing. Of the five status options, choose one. In this case, corrected. Since we have also resolved the other two suggestions, click on their related suggestion boxes as well. Leave a comment from the comment tents or make one of your own. Click the update status button. The last screen shows the status history has recorded your changes and you're done.